Hi, my name is Jake. I am a math tutor from Chicago, and today I'm going to classify all groups of order 65. Before I get to that, I want to tell you that I tutor online, so if you're looking for a math tutor, you can contact me through my website. It's herndonmathservices.com. Okay, on to the classification. So if you're watching this video, you're probably studying the CELO theorems. So I'll just remind you, the third CELO theorem says this. Let G be a finite group and let P be a prime factor of the order of G with multiplicity N. That means that the order of G is equal to P to the nth power times M, where N is greater than zero and P does not divide M. Let N sub P be the number of CELO P subgroups of G. Then the conclusion is N sub P is congruent to one mod P and n sub p divides m. So I'll show you how to use this theorem to classify all groups of order 65. So start by noting that the prime factorization of 65 is 5 times 13. Let g be a group whose order is 65, and let n sub 5 and n sub 13 denote the number of CELO 5 subgroups and the number of CELO 13 subgroups, respectively. By the third CELO theorem, n sub 5 is congruent to 1 mod 5, and n sub 5 divides 13. So there's only two divisors of 13, 1 and 13, and 13 is not congruent to 1 mod 5, so n sub 5 has to be equal to 1. Also, n sub 13 is congruent to 1 mod 13, and n sub 13 divides 5, so n sub 13 is equal to 1. So this says there is a unique CELO 5 subgroup, I'll call it P, and a unique CELO 13 subgroup, I'll call it Q. Both 5 and 13 are primes, so P and Q are cyclic, and P intersected with Q is the trivial subgroup of G. So uh, P is generated by some A, and Q is generated by some B for some elements A and B in the group G. That's what it means for them to be cyclic. All right, so now consider the order of A times B. By Lagrange's theorem, the order of a times b must divide 65. So the order of a times b is equal to 1, 5, 13, or 65. So we're going to show that the order of a times b can't be 1, 5, or 13. Assume that the order of a times b is 1. So that means a times b is equal to the identity, and that means that a and b are inverses of each other. A is in P, and B is in Q, and both P and Q are subgroups, so they're closed under inverses, so this contradicts that P and Q intersect trivially. All right, so now assume that the order of A times B is equal to 5. Well, that means that the group generated by A times B is the unique CELO 5 subgroup P. So that means that a times b is in the group p, and you can write b as a inverse times a times b. So this is something in p, and this is something in p, so the product is in p. So that means that b is now in p. So in this case, with this assumption, we get that b is in the intersection of p and q, and so that's a contradiction. So this case is pretty similar. If you assume that the, uh, that the order of a times b is 13, then the group generated by a times b is the unique CELO 13 subgroup, q, and then a times b is in q, so a times b times b inverse is also in q, but that's equal to a. And that means that a is in the intersection of p and q, which is a contradiction because p and q don't intersect except for at the identity. So in any one of these cases, we get a contradiction. So the only option for the order of a times b is 65. Hence, g contains an element of order 65, 
And because the group has order 65, this means that the group has to be cyclic of order 65. So any group of order 65 is isomorphic to Z mod 65 Z. Uh, so there you go. The classification of groups of order 65 is uh, there's really only one group of order 65, the cyclic group. Um, so there you have it. That's uh, the end of the video. So just to remind you, I tutor online. If you're looking for a math tutor, contact me here, herndonmathservices.com.